All right, guys, we're here in the basement, and the furnace is not turning on. It's actually the fall time when we need some heat in the house. This happens every single year, and I want to show you guys a tip. Mainly I'm doing this because all of my neighbors are having HVAC te technicians come out to their house. All of our houses are the same uh, age. This is an 8-year-old house, 8-year-old system, built in 2014. And every fall, this happens to my, to my uh, furnace. For example, when I, go to turn on the, when I go to turn on the heat, nothing happens. It always happens for the very first time I turn it on for the season because it's sat for the last six months. So I want to show you guys something that I do. This is kind of a hack or something that I figured out. I don't, I don't know how I figured it out, but it was uh, kind of just tinkering around with this. So I'm going to take off the front panel. This is from this is a, this is called Day and Night. I'm not really sure what the uh, – it's kind of an off-brand or something. I don't know. Here's some – here's my info. This probably uh, – probably work the same with uh, all furnaces kind of work the same way and so i want to show you show you kind of a hack here so if we take off the bottom panel this is where the air comes in this is where filtered air comes through the blower and this blows all the air up through the ducting and then this top panel is where our heating element is where the combustion chamber is so we take both of these off I want to show you. I want to show you something here. So, see this. See this tube. This is how you can kind of. This is where you can kind of see this. How this system works in yours. So, this pipe here goes here. Goes up the wall. Goes all the way up to the top of the roof. And this is where the carbon monoxide, the exhaust gases from the burnt natural gas, go. This fan right here is kind of the. This is kind of the culprit to my problem every season. So, see this. This fan. This blower right here. This blower sucks in air. So see how there's this intake pipe here? This sucks in air from just the outside area right here into the combustion chamber, and then the exhaust fumes get sucked out by this blower right here. So this blower is kind of the heart of the system where it's, it's sucking in fresh air. S fresh air is getting ignited here, and then the gases are coming out through here up out to the top of the roof. So if this fan's not working, the whole system won't go because there's no air circulating. So you see these arrows on here? There's a direction that this flows. Yesterday I came down. I'm like, why isn't this working? Every fall I have to come here and I have to just spin. I have to spin this. This over the over six months of this just sitting and not being used and the air conditioning being used. This is the furnace side. This just gets locked up. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know what the what's going on behind it. But it just it's really stiff and it just takes some effort to just start spinning it. So once I spin it. Now the now the fan blades are moving. Obviously, turn off. You want to turn off your turn off your switch here, so the whole the whole system's off. So turn off your 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 switch here before you start getting in here. But just spin this little wheel. Manually spin the wheel on the blower. That'll kind of break free. You know, you just get corrosion. You just get maybe some buildup, some dirt, debris, dust. Just kind of prevents this from spinning smoothly. So test to see if your blower is moving freely or not or not if it's not just spin it a little bit yesterday this thing was locked up now it's spinning great and now my furnace is working fine i have to do that every fall so hopefully that might help those of you who are wondering why your furnace is not working when you turn it on for the first time in the fall anyways guys thanks for watching the video put your panels back on flip your switch back on there's also a couple of things up here you can check your flame sensor is there and your igniter here these are two things that you can replace i always have I always have two on hand. I always have an extra on hand in case they're not working. This is what the flame sensor looks like. It, it detects whether the, whether or not there's a flame present, and this ignites the uh, this ignites the gas in the air. So, anyways, guys, hopefully that's helpful. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.